natural resources. Introduction The outer crust of the earth is called the lithosphere. Water covers 75% of the earth's surface. It is also found underground. These comprise the hydrosphere. The air that covers the whole of the earth like a blanket is called the atmosphere. Living things are found where these three exist. The life-supporting zone of the earth where the atmosphere, the hydrosphere and the lithosphere interact and make life possible is known as the biosphere. Air Currents Place a candle in a beaker or wide-mouthed bottle and light it. Light an incense stick and take it to the mouth of the above bottle, which makes the smoke flow when the incense stick is kept near the edge of the mouth. It flows towards the beaker. Which way does the smoke flow when the incense stick is kept a little above the candle? Smoke flows out of the beaker. Which way does the smoke flow when the incense stick is kept in other regions. Smoke deviates in different regions. The patterns revealed by the smoke show us directions in which hot and cold air move. In a similar manner, when air is heated by radiation from the heated land or water, it rises. But since land gets heated faster than water, the air over land would also be heated faster than the air over water bodies. Rain when water bodies are heated during the day, a large amount of water evaporates and goes into the air. Some amount of water vapor also gets into the atmosphere because of various biological activities. This air also gets heated up. The hot air rises up, carrying the water vapor with it. As the air rises, it expands and cools. This cooling causes the water vapor in the air to condense in the form of tiny droplets. This condensation of water is facilitated if some particles could act as the nucleus for these drops to form around. Normally, dust and other suspended particles in the air perform this function.